All right. Hello, potential STEM Academy students. I'm excited to talk to you all today about what we do here at the Athens Drive Magnet High School STEM Academy. Uh, my name is Shane Barry. I am a science teacher, specifically AP Physics. Um, I teach our STEM capstone class, which I'll get into as part of this presentation. And um, I'm the STEM Academy coordinator here at Athens Drive Magnet High School. So you see my contact info right there. If anybody's interested or has follow-up questions after this, please feel free to email me, and I'll pull this back up here at the end as well so you can see it again. But it's sberry at wcpss.net. Now the QR code that's right here and the tiny URL down here at the bottom uh, will both take you to the STEM Academy website, which is largely what I'm going to go through today to make sure that you understand what it is that we've got going on. So if you feel the need to uh, visit those and follow up, by all means, feel free to do so. And again, I'll bring these back up here at the end also. So to get us going, here is the uh, the homepage that we use for STEM Academy website. This is how we communicate information with both students and parents. And you see a little bit of our background and what's going on with what we do here at Athens Drive Magnet High School STEM Energy and Sustainability Academy there. To expand upon some of this, I want to hit specifically our STEM curriculum, because I imagine that's one of the things you're most interested in. So first, I want to make sure that I note that we supplement the education of incoming students. And it says this here in our mission statement. So the mission of, this, of the Athens Drive STEM Energy and Sustainability Academy is to provide students with a supplemental educational experience by nurturing 21st century workplace skills, focusing on engineering design principles, and providing access to STEM professionals, culminating in relevant and original community presentations. That's a mouthful right there, and I understand that, but I want to make sure that you understand that we are not pulling students out of Athens Drive as a whole. Students will still have all of the opportunities provided with band and other AP classes and sports that are involved here at Athens Drive Magnet High School. But, uh, but we will focus a large part of their education on uh, on. What, what it is that we want to do within the STEM Energy and Sustainability Academy. So the way all of this works, um, and we've got kind of our step stair here of, uh, of how to get through this whole program. So first thing you would do is fill out the STEM Academy application. If you are a base student, if you are a student who is uh, already registered to come to Athens Drive, then uh, then you'll just need to look for this probably around February, but Miss Tanya Hinton, um, our magnet coordinator here at Athens Drive is the one who, uh, who sends that out to be publicly viewed. It'll be on the uh, website um, around February on the Athens Drive website. Um, if you are an incoming magnet student, then we want to make sure that you are designated to come here before you fill out that application. And so we wait until after that magnet processing period before we open this up. Once you've completed that, you come in as a freshman. And each level, we have cohorted classes. And what the cohorted classes mean is you are in a graduation requirement, but with other STEM Academy students. So English 1, Biology, World History, you would be in these three classes that are required for graduation, but it's STEM Academy students only that will be in there. And that's because we focus the curriculum on these cohorted classes, specifically on some of our STEM uh, principles that we want to make sure that students gain while they are here. You will also complete at each level a STEM project. So there's a class project at each level that focuses on our themes of energy and sustainability. And I'll expand upon those in just a moment here. You also need, in order to take that step up, STEM points. And STEM points are our way of, of measuring involvement within the STEM Academy, of coming and seeing some of our guest speakers, of participating with that class project, um, of just being a part of this. Uh, since a lot of the things that we do are outside of your regular classes, we want to have some way other than grades to measure participation, and that's how we do it. And I'll expand upon that here coming up as well. The last thing that's necessary right here is the STEM pathway. Um, this is kind of like majoring in something when you're in college. So you would go to engineering school, but you would major in civil engineering or mechanical engineering or electrical engineering. That's what your STEM pathway is. And so we'll expand upon that in just a moment as well. Now, in order to graduate, students must do all those things that were just mentioned. You must uh, complete the STEM Academy application, um, complete a student contract, and that's available here. Once students are included in the STEM Academy, we get them the contract, complete those core cohorted classes at each level, earn those uh, sufficient STEM points, complete the class project assigned each year, and then complete one of the STEM pathways. So this is very much like following a uh, college path and, and graduating from um, 
a, a similar type overall institution. And I think that's really important for students at this age to be a part of, and that's why we offer it this way. Now, we use the engineering design process throughout all of these classes, those cohorted classes, um, while they're completing their class projects. This is something that they see a lot, and this is really the general mindset that we use when problem solving in the STEM Academy. So we wanted to make sure to outline that. And here we see our pathways. So up at the top, these are our cohorted classes that students take STEM sections of. And down here, students will choose one of these pathways um, to focus on as they move through school. So you've got science, sustainable agriculture, a couple technology options, um, engineering drafting, math. Students get to pick the one that they're the most interested in and then complete three of the classes available under each of the pathways. Once they've done that, they've completed their focus and, uh, and will be ready to graduate. And this worksheet here is really just to help them mark their way through as they complete those different items. All right. So um, to go to those STEM events and how to earn STEM points, we have for fall 2020, you see it right here, um, our guest speaker schedule. And normally we would host live events in our auditorium, but this year we're hosting them via Google Meet because it's 2020 and that's what we do in 2020. So, um, so you see availability here. We're offering actually two dates and times for each one. You see some of the institutions that are included from the National Institute of Health and IEHS there um, to a drone company, um, graduates, former graduates, the North Carolina Electric Co-op, um, and then all the way down to, you know, the College of Engineering at North Carolina um, State University. So we got a lot involved here and uh, some of the materials they provide are available there as well. We're also including documentaries this year for the first time given the remote learning situation that we're in. So there's some documentaries involved and students fill out um, a form to show their knowledge of it and they're all related to the themes of our academy. And then there's some asynchronous opportunities as well where students can either go through a curriculum here put out by the North Carolina Electric Co-op um, to show knowledge of sustainable energy practices or Campbell uh, University Engineering did some virtual events. So that was part of what we did there too. And, uh, and those are all ways that they can earn those STEM points. Now those class projects that I'll come up to in just a moment are worth STEM points as well. And students can check their progress with their STEM ID here to see how many STEM points they have as they move through each year. Now that, um, oh, excuse me. The Stemposium here is, uh, is the culmination of these class projects. So the first thing I want to point out is the, uh, the class projects at each level. Now, what we've got are different projects with different amount of responsibility to students that focus on the energy and sustainability themes that we have here at the STEM Academy. The freshman project explores energy around the world. And again, you can view these projects in full if you uh, come check out the STEM Academy website. The sophomore project is more about sustainability and the future of recycling. Um, we go a little more into sustainability also um, when we look into the junior project uh, where students can make the world more sustainable through some of their own practices and practices in their communities. And then finally, as seniors, they address a grand engineering challenge. And this is a way for them to um, have a little more freedom to choose what their topics are. And as they go through these different levels, the freedom and the amount of choice they have is expanded at each point also. Now, if you're interested in what some of these projects might look like, the Stymposium 2020 website is available here as well. So you see, these are some of those projects because last year in the spring, we didn't have the ability to, um, to present all of these in person, and you'll go through here and you see a lot of the projects presented here. Apologies for that loading slowly, okay? Um, from there, I do want to note also that, uh, that we have recently gotten a solar array. And this is kind of an additional thing that goes both with the sustainability and the energy um, components of what we do in the STEM Academy. Um, a student actually wrote the grant for this, and then we went on a big fundraising campaign, and they matched, the grant was matching, so we actually got this entire system um, put in just with the donations and the matching grant. And so I'll get to some of the pictures and stuff here in a second, but we had STEM Academy seniors of the year that it was put in, um, make some informational videos that show how this works and what it's doing here at Athens Drive. We've got the information on the actual solar panels that are there. And you can see the installation process um, was, was something to witness for sure. Um, and, uh, and that's all documented here as well. And you can even check and see how much energy we've saved each day, what it's producing, what the balance is, how much money has been saved, um, the equivalent in CO2 savings, so forth and so on. So it really is actually making a difference. So some of these things that are being done here are truly making a difference for the uh, local community.
Um, from there, a couple other special programs that we've got going on. We do have a FIRST Robotics team. Um, they are housed largely off campus, but they are connected to us here at Athens Drive Magnet High School, and I am the contact for this. So if anyone that comes here is interested, STEM Academy or not, and joining the FIRST Robotics team, you can let me know, and I'll get you hooked up with them so that you can figure out when they build and practice and do all that fun stuff. And we also do a Crayola Color Cycle program where we recycle markers and dry erase markers, and you'd be surprised at the amount of waste that they a lot of schools generate from this. Well, we send them back to Crayola and they are used um, in a lot of sustainable, eco-friendly ways. So it's really nice to have some more of that sustainability here as well. Um, a couple of things that are being developed here within the STEM Academy that I want people to know about. First, we're looking to start a drone club. And this would further develop that T in STEM, that technology aspect. Um, nine, 10 drones, I don't know if anyone noticed, but that was one of our guest speakers on that, um, on that speaking list. And so they talked about the technology that's used for this, how it's used for GPS handling and images and deliveries and a lot of the developing things that are happening. We're hoping to get a drone that we can use here on campus sometime soon. Um, got a meeting on that in about a week. So hopefully that will happen as soon as we get students back on campus and we'll get students learning about drones and potentially even flying some. And then we're looking to start a diversity and STEM club as well. So I've been working with a uh, um, head of the local NSBE, the National Society of Black Engineers, um, um, club because uh, community and we really want to develop a diversity and stem club here at athens in order to make sure that students of all backgrounds understand um, the possibilities that lay before them and this is really important because we want to make sure that the demographics of our stem academy are matching the demographics of our school that's been a really big push lately so please students of all backgrounds know that the possibilities are there for you as much as they are for anyone else and that will be the case here in the STEM Energy and Sustainability Academy for sure. All right. The last item here is in that top right corner, that, that last tab on the STEM Academy website, if you're curious, is some student feedback from graduates, students once they are out of our um, hands and they've graduated from high school. So you see some videos that give some feedback about what students thought about the STEM Academy and how they felt like it helped them um, as they went into college, and even a, a note here from a student that emailed me about their E101 class, their Introduction to Engineering class. So again, I would like to share the contact info for anybody who's interested. Please feel free to reach out if you have any further questions, sberry at wcpss.net, and that QR code will take you to the STEM Academy website, and so will the tiny URL. Thanks so much for your time, and I hope to see you here at Athens Drive.